What's up guys, welcome to your 42nd Android tutorial for the new boss and again with me Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically break through our, or talk through our application for the most part, get you guys a little more comfortable with what we're doing and also fix one of the errors that we're having. So basically one of the errors that we're having is uh, if we try and set the wallpaper right when our application starts it's going to give us an error and crash our program. So what we're going to do to fix that is basically set our bitmap up to equal something at the beginning before application starts so there if they actually hit the set wall it's just gonna set it to our default icon that shows in our image view but quickly let's just break through or talk through why do I keep saying breakthrough uh, we're gonna talk through our application get you guys again hopefully familiar with what we're doing all we're doing is set in the content view set up some variables so we can use it within different methods and then we're using this initialize method that just kind of sets all of our references and sets our on-click listeners for our two buttons. Once one of those buttons are pressed, it's going to go to this on-click method. It's good to, going to determine which button was pressed by the switching case. It's going to get the ID of the button that was pressed. If his button set wall, it'll do this. If his button set picture or take picture, it'll do this method within this case. Now, if it is the set picture or take picture button or image view button. It's going to start a new intent. Uh, again, the intent action name of the camera application that comes with your phone. And then it's going to start that activity for a result, giving some data back. And uh, then once, once we get done using that activity, our camera activity, it's going to come back, give us some data through this on activity result method. Just give us some stuff that we can work with. We're going to check if you know it worked, if it was successful, if we got a picture, we got some data back for the most part by using this result code, uh, which is our second parameter that's, that gets passed in. If that's okay, we're going to get the bundle or get the extras from that activity, and then we're going to set up a bitmap based on that activity. And then we're going to set the image view based off of our bitmap. So it's kind of confusing, especially like you're like, okay, I don't really understand these two lines for sure. That's okay guys, uh, for the most part right now. Don't worry too much about that. Again, we're just kind of learning Java and some of the methods and some of the stuff that we can do with Android. So what we're gonna do to fix our first error, this bitmap error that we're getting, if we try to set you know, the wallpaper right as our application starts, um, basically our bitmap is not set to anything. So that's what it's referencing when we say set wallpaper. It's gonna say set the wallpaper to basically our bitmap right here. Um, so what we need to do is define this bitmap at the beginning. And how we're going to do that is we're going to define it um, a different way than we did right here. You're like, dang it, man. I don't, I don't, what are you doing? I don't even understand this. I'm sorry, guys. But you will in time. Trust me. I promise you guys. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do it a different way, setting up the bitmap by input stream. And we're going to set it up that way. Now, it's basically kind of confusing. But for the most part, the input stream is going to get us... Um, some input from our, you know, our resource folder, oops, our drawable folder here, and uh, just basically set it to the default image. We're going to set it to the icon for the most part. So we're going to set up our bitmap within the onCreate method after everything gets initialized or variables get set up. So we're going to say bitmap. Or actually, let's do it this way. We're going to say input stream, and we're going to say uh, i is for input stream equals how is that blue we import that and we're gonna set this equal to something a method called get resources because again um, our image or our icon PNG is within our resource folder so we're gonna say get resources and that's just gonna be a method that kind of uh, relates to our resources for the most part again it's a method so it has parentheses and we're gonna say dot we're gonna say open raw raw resources you guys are probably thinking it's referring to this raw f folder. For the most part, it's not. Just still think of that as accessing our resource folder. So we're going to click that, and then we're going to say whatever image we want to set up. Um, R dot draw. Oops. R dot drawable dot, uh, and then we can pick an image that we want, basically to set as the background if the person doesn't take the picture and just use that set button set wallpaper so we're going to set their background as the icon which is pretty lame that will teach them not to take a picture and set their background that way so basically we set up an input stream and now we need to decode this input stream as we set up our bitmap so we're going to say bitmap 
um, basically our bitmap variable and we're going to set it equal to basically this input stream but we have to decode an input stream um, for the most part I know this is kind of confusing as well but just to get our application working and we'll get into more detail as well as we go through the series I promise you guys um, and we're going to refer to the class bitmap factory we need to import this class it's not allowing us to do so yet so we just hit bitmap factory uh, decode stream or decode what is it input stream no decode stream I believe and then uh, there we go again input uh, import the bitmap factory for the most part um, you guys will probably have to do that I might have done that already when I was just messing around make sure this works and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decode the stream uh, basically our input stream that we're set up here called IS so that's gonna basically set up our bitmap to equal something in our resources and how we do that is the bitmap factory dot decode a stream and then we throw in whatever stream we want it to decode which is getting our resources for the most part that's what these two things will do and this is our actual bitmap that we want to decode for the most part um, so hopefully that kinda makes sense guys I'll get rid of one of our errors and then in the next tutorial we'll get rid of the other error as our emulator turns on its side so I know it's kind of confusing guys, please stick with the series and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.